went to the moon. It's the same thing with like Hersan and Ukraine and the Donbass and Russia and stuff. Like he's in Ukraine. He's like, the shit you people are saying about Ukraine is not true. I'll debate any of you on it. I'm the same way with the moon landing. He might not have looked into it. I have. No one went to the moon. And so it doesn't make me a fucking idiot. It makes me uh, smart. And, uh, you know, if anybody ever wants to debate me on that, like I did, Harrison Smith on InfoWars was the only person to ever publicly debate me on it because he was like, no, we definitely went to the moon. Most people won't debate you because they know they'll lose. Deep downside, they don't want to be embarrassed. So what they do, it's the same thing they do to Gonzalo about Ukraine. They, they're, they, they project, they gaslight, they make it seem like you're this evil, crazy, terrible person. Like, okay, like a conspiracy I think is retarded is that birds are fake and they're spying on people. I would have absolutely no problem debating anyone on that topic on their channel. I'm not going to bring you to mine. I'm not going to waste everyone's time. And I'm not going to uh, promote that type of thing as uh, a way to promote your channel. Like if you say dumb shit, I'll bring you on my channel and then your channel will grow. I won't do that. But of course I have no fear whatsoever. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're so dumb. I won't debate you on it. Of course I would talk to anybody that doesn't think that birds are real. Why won't people talk about the moon? The moon landing is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. It's like retarded. So the one thing in the last 60 years where technology not only did not advance, it went backward and they destroyed it and there's no way they can go back. And even though there'd be like infinite commercial opportunities for Michael Jackson to do a concert on the moon or a military implication, they just can't go back because they destroyed the technology and it's way too hard to bring it back. So anyway, so when I debated uh, uh, Harris, Harrison Smith, his conclusion was his only winnable point after I annihilated him was what, why does it even matter? So the one time someone could debate me on it when I, and I liked him at the time and then he became a gamma and talked a lot of shit. But I got him to the point where his only argument was, why does it matter? Uh, $58 million a day. Uh, people's entire worldview. A distorted view of all of reality. It matters. Okay, if you look at what time in human history has an explorer went somewhere where they came home, it sounded incredible, like you could fly and jump really high and all this, and no one followed them. Oh, no, there's another problem. Come on. After the early 70s, no one went back. They're like, no, no, no. Does that ever happen in exploration? When in technology has it ever happened where um, there's been a, a technology advance, you are capable of doing something, then you destroy it, and it doesn't advance, and you never do that again? Okay, they also, NASA, according to NASA, the proof they went to the moon, they destroyed the telemetry data. Why did they do that? Their official answer is they had budgetary problems in the 70s and 80s, and they taped over the proof that they went to the moon. Uh, there's, if you look at the Apollo lander, it appears to be a meth head's tree fort that he made with garbage he found behind a dumpster. Okay? If you put that into the vacuum that they claim exists, it would not be possible at all. You need seven feet of lead to contain that type of vacuum if you have a pressurized chamber. Okay, so in out of one side of their mouth, Neil Armstrong and his ilk say that they got to the moon with less technology than an iPhone and all the college girls slack jawed and the homosexuals, they all clap like little seals. And then out of the other side of their mouth, they say, we don't have the technology and it's too painful to bring back. They'll show you their, their suits, their hand stitched suits. Like it's all retarded. How did they have, uh, how did they do it? Okay. Gonzalo Lira might know about photography. I know about television broadcasting. I know about liars. How do you broadcast live from the moon with no batteries? If you go to a TV station, I've done a million morning radio, morning TV, you know, good morning, Dallas. It's Gary and Terry. I used to do all that shit when I tour. You'd have giant transformers and giant dishes just to go like 50 miles. So you're telling me 240,000 miles away through the vacuum of space and the Van Allen radiation belt, 
You have something that looks like it was put together by a meth head behind a dumpster. Okay. And uh, three Freemasons playing golf with no ability. Like they had to measure their water and their syrup that they're eating because weight is such a problem with thrust and all this nonsense. So where's the batteries? How do you keep the batteries cool when it's positive 200 in the sun and negative 200 at night? See, the problem with liars is they lie in one direction to get a lot of acclaim and everyone to think they're space cowboys and so brave and they have grit and all that. And then they lie the other direction and say that, you know, and and they want to be like super technical and it's so advanced and you couldn't possibly do it again. Their bragging undoes their entire story. So you're telling me you went up there without any real machinery. So how did you keep it cool in the day and warm at night? You know, it, okay, here's a basic one for Gonzalo here. And bear in mind, I like his stream. This is originally just an example of how to listen to somebody and not react, but I'm finding it very interesting. Um, when the rover, when the, when the astronauts left space, who panned up the camera? If Gonzalo Weir knows so much about cinematography, how did they pan up? And then how did they get the photographic equipment onto the, did they just leave the guy that panned up and all the equipment there for the next round? But it was being broadcast live. Okay, it's so stupid, guys. It's so stupid. I was watching Gonzalo say his proof is that... Um, Those pictures could only have been taken on the moon. They could not have been taken on Earth. (laughs) Any evidence, Gonzalo? Like, want to talk about, um, want to talk about undercutting your 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 credibility? It's like, so you've done experiments taking pictures on the moon. Like, how could those pictures have only been taken on the moon? Like, that's so stupid. Oh my God. And then you get into flat Earth, and people think you're just bonkers. Then you just say eight inches per mile squared. That's the curve of the Earth. Okay, allegedly. How do you have a lighthouse that's 40 feet high being seen by a ship that's 50 miles away? That's not even close to possible. All right.